Stage two and a first opportunity for the sprinters to show off their wares. 179 kilometers from Stupinigi, just to the south of Turin, to Novara in the northeast of Piemonte. Three riders getting away, representing Bardiani, Androni Giocattoli and Eolo Cometa. And Filippo Ganna safely ensconced and enjoying his day out in the Maglia Rosa. One King of the Mountains point competition available on the day, just the one categorised climb, taken in great style by Vincenzo Albanese, who led all the way up the climb and held on to win. The only King of the Mountains of the day meant that he would be on the podium in the blue King of the Mountains jersey at the end of the day. After a mechanical meant that he had been swallowed up by the peloton, that just left Tagliani and Marengo from Androni and Bardiani to duel it out uh, for the first of the two intermediate sprints. They were caught, though, before the second of the intermediate sprints, at which there would be three bonus seconds available. Those seconds were duly taken by the man in the Maglia Rosa, Filippo Ganna, sprinting with Remco Evenepoel, trying to chase him as well, and picking up two bonus seconds in the case of Evenepoel, but Filippo Ganna extending his advantage in the lead of the Giro d'Italia. Into the final kilometre, then, on the run into Novara, a complicated finale with a few sweeping bends and a finish line that was hidden behind a right-hand curve. Imperative that the riders chose the right line, and best of all was uh, Tim Malia from Alpes and Fenix, who read it to perfection. Fernando Gaviria brushing with disaster and almost coming to grief in the barriers just there, but Malia was unbeatable. Nizzolo and Grunewagen chased as hard as they might, as well as Eli Viviani, but couldn't catch the Belgian who cruised to victory in the end and took his first ever Grand Tour win in his first ever Grand Tour participation. An excellent return for the Belgian Pro Tour team and a great win for Malia. Tim, this was uh, your first chance to uh, target a stage in a Grand Tour and you didn't miss out. How do you feel? Uh, I'm really happy, uh, really proud of it. Uh. Can you take us through the last, uh, let's say, 600 meters? How yeah. important was it to be well positioned after the last uh, curve? Yeah, I know uh, it was a roundabout, really important in the end. And yeah, well, when I saw it, uh, I know already I'm in a good position. And we come out, and uh, I was only thinking uh, we need to uh, faster, faster, faster. And then Alex, yeah, did a great lead out, bring me in perfect position, and yeah. I go from uh, far, I think, to 50 meters, but yeah, in the end it was enough. So, uh, yeah, big victory. We asked you this morning if it was uh, important to have won more races than any other sprinter before the Giro. Do you feel confidence helped a lot today? Yeah, yeah I'm really happy. I was uh, on altitude camp together with my girlfriend, and uh, there I prepared myself to, for here, and uh, yeah, it pays off today. Lots of people are watching the Giro this year uh, in Belgium, not only because of you. They would like to hear you in uh, speaking Flemish. Een paar woorden in Nederlands. Ah ja, ik wil iedereen bedanken die mij gesteund heeft de laatste weken en, uh, en mij geloofde. En uh, ja, deze is een overwinning voor jullie.